I wedged my fingers as tight as I could into the grout lines of the old world brick, and thanked God that the architects hadn't gone with a sleek metal design. My bare toes burned as they gripped the side of the building. The rough texture shaved off more of the skin from my feet with each floor I passed. If I'd realized I'd be cutting my night out short to do a job, and that job would involve scaling the side of the Hotel Esposito, I wouldn't have worn four-inch heels. I definitely wouldn't have worn the faux leather mini dress that was now slipping down over my strapless bra to pool around my waist. The entire outfit needed to be burned. I should have expected it. The job, that was. My dad had a sixth sense for knowing when I was having fun and ruining it. I could swear he took some sick joy in finding the worst possible moment to call me into work. The only consolation was, it wasn't just me. He did the same thing with all his employees. Jimmy O'Rourke said, jump. And we said, in front of what? I eased my magnet out of my bra, struggling to maintain a solid three-point grip on the wall. I gasped as one foot slipped, dropping me a half foot before I could steady myself. Fear coiled in my stomach and my heart pounded in my throat. I took a deep breath, reminding myself this was what I trained for. Breathing evenly, I hauled myself onto the window ledge and smiled at the simple latch. I'd been counting on the Esposito's arrogance. They put high-tech motion sensor locks on the lower floors, but hadn't counted on a thief scaling their walls. Idiots. I ignored the wind whipping at my hair and the edges of my dress, maneuvering the cold magnet over the lock. I clasped my bottom lip between my teeth, holding on for dear life with one hand while trying to keep the magnet steady. I held my breath, Slowly moving the magnet until I heard the telltale sound of the latch springing. My breath whooshed out of my lungs as the window opened. Thank God. I didn't feel like doing the breaking part of breaking and entering. Not five stories off the ground, anyway.